Hello and welcome to Fluid Dots. In this tutorial, we're gonna walk you through how I made this effect, this liquid shapes animation effect. I called it Floverlap for some reason, I don't know, because I couldn't find any tutorials on this type of effects. I just experiment in After Effects and I come up with this, as you can see here. So, without further ado, let's get started and let's walk you into it. Before we start doing anything, to download the project file, you can find it in the link description and you can also find the preset that I made here, so you can just copy it and paste it in your effects, so you don't have to do this from the startup. And without further ado, let's jump into it, okay? So this effect is basically just circles floating around, going in rotations and different directions. As you can see here, these circles have like a layer stars to them, and the layer stars is just have an inner shadow. I played with settings, so I have this noisy thing, and I just added a scatter to have more noise in the edges, and that's it. This is just some circles floating around. Then I just added an adjustment layer right here as you can see. What I have in the adjustment layer is just a noise which just gives it a noise as you can see here in the middle. Then what I have is a set mat and what this does it just keeps these circles inside of the clipping mask we have in the bottom here. Then what I have I just put like a scatter to give it more noisy effect in the edges to blend the colors together after all. Then what I have, the biggest part is adding caution blur. This is like the final step. As you can see here, you see, it gives it more stylish. As you can see here, right, you see the edges are blending. If we remove the scatter, it's like lines as you can see here. But you can keep it like this, it's a great effect. But what I prefer is adding a scatter so it's like noisy and stylish. Then what I added is just a mesh, what this does is just blend colors together, if you move these points together, just blend the colors. Then what I added is just a waveform to have a random animation instead of the default one. Then what I added is CC Gritter, what this does it just gives it more details as you can see in a second, you see it gives it like more lines in the hair. When I turn it off. It's like, you can keep it like this, but I prefer adding a griddle because it gives it like this liney shapes stylish thing. I don't know what it's called, how to call it. Then what I added is just a liquify to more randomizeness. I played just with the tools to have it swirl, to go in a swirl animation. And that's it. That's the effect. So. If you wanna try this, go ahead and try. I'm gonna show you all the settings of the effects right here in a second. Or if you wanna just like download the project file, you can find the link in the description, or you can also find the preset to apply to your animation without going into the settings and play around yourself. But if you prefer to follow up, here is the settings. Take care and I see you in the next video and as always, find what makes you happy and make that your life. Bye.